Hello, and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Kelly Ainsworth at the 2017 SPE IADC Drilling Conference in The Hague, Netherlands. I'm here with Dr. Eric Van Ord of the University of Texas, who co-authored the paper, Future Workforce Development Through Data Analytics. Thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. What were some of the challenges curating the enormous amount of data that you were given by an operator for the project? So we, we got a large data set from uh, an independent operator in, in the US, from the Bakken. 16 wells, 200 gigabytes of data. Some individual vi files being more than six, uh, six gigabytes. Files that were so large that they even couldn't be opened in Excel. So you had to actually come up with new techniques to parse the data. And then what we found out was that we had sometimes files with 588 uh, columns with no header in the indications, right? So making sense of the data, getting it to, into sizable chunks that we could analyze, then analyzing the data and, and looking at the quality, making sure that it's reliable data for analysis. That took a lot of time. Apart from the analysis itself, just getting the data ready for analysis uh, takes a lot of time. And that's a big hurdle, actually, for operators to utilize their own data. Uh, they don't have the time, they don't have the resources to spend on, on analyzing these data sets. And, and that's where we can play a really important role in, in facilitating that. And of course, by the techniques that we develop, we can do this quicker and faster and more efficient once we know how to get a data set down to size and make it useful for analysis, then we can replicate that across many other new data sets, right? We don't have to start from scratch. Can you tell me about the process the students use to take this raw data and turn it into visualizations? We, we take um, undergraduate students, uh, usually students that I have in my drilling classes, and uh, we connect them with our uh, staff, with our very knowledgeable faculty. Uh, myself included, and, and, and the people that I work with. Um, and, and then we also connect them with uh, graduate students, right, that are very knowledgeable, that are graduate students in drilling. And it's a basically a an, an quick immersion in, into drilling, right? They have to learn uh, this kind of sink or swim, we throw them in in the deep end, to, to quickly familiarize themselves with drilling, look into the data sets, and, and then they're given specific tasks to start analyzing and looking for certain information, right? Be it looking into well trajectories, being looking at, at how we uh, put together drill, drill strings and, and, and so on, right? We have kind of have that perfected now on how we onboard new students and how we get them going and how we make them productive in a very short period of time because we usually don't have a lot of time. We have three or four months within a semester to actually then have them produce something meaningful. Can you tell me about some of the insights that the operator gained from this project? Uh, there's a clear value proposition, I think, for the operator. Uh, operators are sitting on these big data sets, something that they've usually spent a lot of effort and, and money on collecting, sometimes using dedicated tools so, such as wired pipe to get downhole high frequency data. And then, as I already indicated, then they miss the, or they lack the resources to effectively analyze those data sets. Right. So what we can provide is actually detailed analysis of those data sets that we turn into visual visualizations and, and storybooks that can answer optimization questions that the operator has. And from that, we can give them quick guidance on where the opportunities for improvement are uh, within the data set. Right? What, what is the data showing? Where can they uh, improve on their drilling time, on reducing their flat time? in becoming more efficient. It's, it's a unique way that benefits both the operator as well as the university and the students. What they get is actually value out of their own data. The, in, information is, uh, the data is turned into information and then into value. Of course, then they have to do something internal within their organization as well to capitalize on that value. That's a non-trivial step. But we can guide them along to show them where the biggest bang for the buck is. And at the same time, we have a unique opportunity then on that data set to train our students and actually make them better drilling engineers that are also then equipped with a set of very unique data skills. How is this project and others like it helping students become the drilling engineers of the future? Well, if you, if you look around this, this conference, and, it, and it's really interesting, the theme is everywhere now on automation and advanced data analytics, right? And you can already see that those are going to be the required skills of the drilling engineer in the future. 
right? The keynote speaker this morning said, for instance, that um, 100 percent of the roles is gonna, are going to change, right? The, the, the roles of, of uh, the traditional roles within the industry are going to change. Um, my associates and I think that uh, drilling engineers in the future will do drilling engineering, but they also have to have these automation and data ana analysis skills. And as soon as that we prepare for a job in industry, because that's most of what we do, of course, uh, we'll have already a, a significant leg up on being familiarized with data analysis tools, with how to extract value from data. That is actually a competitive advantage, both for the students as well as for the operators that hire them. Is Rapid planning to take on any similar projects to this one? We, we already are. Um, we, we've worked this with one operator who we are very grateful for, for providing us the first, first data set. Getting that data set took a long time. Uh, there are certain, of course, requirements that need to be met. Um, one of them is, is data security. Right? We can tell you a little bit about how we analyze the data, but we'll never tell you what the data is. That is secret, that is, and that is secure, and we take very good care of that. And, and we're now starting to replicate and extend this to other operators. So we have, at the moment, three operators in the pool uh, for which we are basically doing advanced data analytics projects. All of them with a little bit of a different focus. They have different optimization questions that they want answered. But we work them all with, uh, with dedicated uh, uh, teams of students um, that, that are going to provide some, uh, some comprehensive answers for these operators. And we hope that it will grow, uh, that the operator pool will, will grow. And, um, and we're publishing this uh, at the conference uh, uh, this year. And, and, and I actually hope to see it replicated at other universities as well. Right? It's a modern way of familiarizing uh, students with, with drilling and getting them excited about uh, life in industry. Thank you for joining us today and telling us about the program and its work. Uh, it's my pleasure. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.